Hey again, welcome back. So today's video is going to be on the best makeup products from the drugstore for contouring. So if you're a regular subscriber, you might remember that I just recently did a best drugstore bronzers video and specifically focused on matte bronzers, which can definitely be used for contouring. But I thought I would do this video because this is going to be on pretty much all other products at the drugstore that can also be used for contouring. I personally prefer to use some of the products I'm going to talk about in this video for contouring over some of the drugstore matte bronzers that I mentioned just because I feel like uh, they give you a more natural and a cleaner contour uh, but it does not mean that matte bronzers don't work well for contouring. They definitely do. Sometimes I reach for those because they're just easier. You can do your bronzing and your contouring all in one and it's less of a headache. So basically the way I have this video organized, I'm just going to focus on the ones that I really like from the drugstore. And I'm not going to really do too much of a ranking order, but I'll save my favorite for last just so that we can build up the excitement. So a couple tips about contouring that I picked up along the way. For me personally, I tend to pick a shade of contour that is about one to two shades deeper than my natural skin tone, and I try to stay within the same tone. So I'm warmer toned. I tend to pick contours that are either warm undertones or neutral based. When in doubt, I think the best thing you can do is pick a neutral toned bronzer or powder, especially if you're new to contouring. Powders tend to be a little more forgiving and a little easier to blend. Now you can definitely go deeper with your contours. Certainly if you're going for a really heavy contour, you could go up to three shades deeper. And I think in makeup, you just gotta do what makes you happy. But these are just some tips that I find give you a really natural contour and have worked for me. Now the first couple of products I want to talk about are ones that I tend to grab when I am going for a really quick contour. I'm in a rush and they are just really easy to blend and apply. And they are these jumbo concealer sticks. Now I have one here by CoverGirl. It is called their True Blend Fix Stick Concealer. And then the other one here is L'Oreal's True Match Super Blendable Crayon Concealer. They pretty much do the same thing. Now what I love about these besides their convenient packaging is that they do help guide you by giving you what the undertones are. So especially with the L'Oreal, they have them broken down into warm, neutral, and cool tones. And this one in particular I have is actually one I use for highlighting and it is in the shade Neutral 1, 2, 3. Now for contouring I tend to use the shade Neutral 5, 6, 7 which is more of a deeper tan. And then with the CoverGirl, I have this for contouring in the shade Deep 1, 2, 3, 4. In terms of finish, I feel like they do pretty much the same thing, but the L'Oreal dries to more of a powder finish, whereas the CoverGirl stays the slightest bit more creamy or satiny on the skin. They both blend pretty easily, and I think they both have nice staying power, but I think if I had to pick one, I prefer the finish a little bit more on the L'Oreal. So the next product I want to talk about is this Cream Compact. It's by L'Oreal True Match and it's called their Super Blendable Compact Makeup. Now I have mine here in the shade Honey Beige N6, which I actually tend to use more in the winter when I'm a little lighter. Right now this shade sort of blends into my skin and doesn't show up nearly as well. So I would say if you are a medium light skin tone, a little bit lighter than me, then this might make a really good contour for you. What I really love about this cream compact is it blends easily into your skin. It dries to a powder finish. It's really forgiving. So if you're trying to move into using more cream or liquid products for contouring, this is a nice one to start with. My only critique of this one is that I find the staying power isn't quite as long wearing as I would like. I think in about four to five hours, I find that this starts to fade or break down on the skin. So one way you can increase the staying power on this one is applying a powder contour over it to really get it to lock into place and enhance your contour. The next product is one that came out fairly recently and I like even better as a cream contour and it's by NYX. It's their Mineral Stick Foundation in the shade, I believe it's called Caramel, on the packaging it says MSF09. It's the darkest shade in the line. This one by far makes for the best contour if you're in the medium to tan skin tone because it is a really nice neutral based contour and it is a mineral foundation which I find makes it extra blendable. It sits so nicely on the skin and it looks very natural. 
Okay, so final cream or liquid product that I want to talk about for contouring is a foundation. And my favorite from the drugstore for contouring comes from, again, the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable line. And this is their Super Blendable Makeup. This is the original foundation that started the whole line. And a lot of people rave about this foundation. One, because it has a beautiful finish on the skin. But two, they have an incredible color selection to pick from and they break it down again into warm, neutral, and cool undertones. So it makes it a lot easier for you to first find your base foundation, whatever your natural skin tone would use. And then from there, you can go two or three shades deeper to find your contour, and then two shades lighter to find your highlight. So for me, my base foundation, the one that I use all over my skin, is the color Natural Buff N3 and it is a really good match to my skin tone right now. And then for contouring, I went up about two and a half shades to the shade N5.5, which is perfect beige. These definitely blend beautifully on your skin. I feel like these by far give the most natural finish for a contour, and they have great staying power, especially when you set them with a finishing powder. Me, out of all the cream liquid products that I've talked about, these are my favorite for contouring. So now moving on to powder contours. I have a few here that are completely out of the box, not necessarily things that you would think of initially to contour with, but actually work beautifully for contouring. And I will start with those first. A really inexpensive option that works great for contouring are these e.l.f. eyebrow kits. Now, I know you might be thinking these are meant for your eyebrows, but actually they work really well, especially for contouring areas like your nose and the hollows of your cheek. Because a lot of times with contouring, if you think about what you're doing, you're trying to create shadows on your face, a natural shadow tends to have a little bit of a gray cast to it. So if you choose a powder that has a little bit more of a gray undertone to it, you're going to get a lot more of a natural shadow to your face. And and these definitely have some gray tone to them. The one that I find works best on my skin tone and I fall within the medium range, I'm an NC30 in MAC foundations, is the shade Dark. And this is what this one looks heavily swatched on my hand. Now trust me when I tell you it does not apply this heavy on my skin. I tend to go with a much more sheer application which you probably aren't even seeing that well on my skin. So these are powders that can be built up. I mean, they're meant to be built up for your brows, so they easily can be built up on your skin. You can start really light-handed and get them to the depth of contour that you want. One that I would recommend for somebody with lighter skin tones than me is the medium shade. It's just a tad bit lighter and cooler than the dark shade, but pretty much does the same exact thing. The other great thing about these is they only retail for three bucks and you can use them for your brows as well. I mean, that's a really great way to get the most bang for your buck with contouring and doing your brows and they have great staying power. The last eyeshadow I wanna talk about for contouring is my absolute favorite from the drugstore and it's from NYX. It's one of their nude matte eyeshadows in the shade underneath it all. Now, this one reminds me a lot of my favorite higher end contour which is Max Cork. This one was one that I discovered by watching a fellow YouTuber named Huda Katan. She's a makeup artist and she always raves about using Max Cork for contouring on pretty much all her clients. And I tried it out and loved the way it looks on my skin. So I was on a mission to find a drugstore dupe for it or something similar to it. And I find that the NYX shade in underneath it all is the most similar to it and gives such a beautiful contour. I actually prefer it slightly more over Max Cork and it is much cheaper. I believe this retails for around $5 whereas the MAC eyeshadows tend to retail for around $15 to $16. Now this one has incredible pigmentation and really nice staying power. It's right here next to my wrist and it definitely can be built up like all these other eyeshadows. You can start more sheer with it. And it just blends beautifully on the skin and gives you a really natural shadowed effect. So I think this one works really well for a variety of skin tones. Last two products I want to talk about are my favorite matte bronzers for contouring. Now since I already did that video on best drugstore matte bronzers, I'm not going to belabor either of these, but I wanted to include them in this video because this is about contouring and these are the two that I tend to reach for if I'm going to contour with a drugstore bronzer. 
and the first one is by NYC. It's their Color Wheel Mosaic Face Powder in the shade All Over Bronze Glow. So it has this whole mosaic look to it, which allows you to really control the depth of the color. It has a completely matte finish, great blendability, great staying power. I mean, this is one that lasts me all day. And as you can tell, compared to the eyeshadows, it's definitely a little bit warmer, but bronzers tend to be a little bit warmer in tone. It still looks really natural on the skin, and I still find that it creates a beautiful contour. So if you're looking for something that you can get multi-use out of, then this bronzer is one that you can use as an all-over bronzer or as a contour. My other all-time favorite bronzer for contouring is by Milani, and it's the Bronzer XL All Over Glow. I have it in the shade Fake Tan, which is by far for me the best shade out of the three that are in the collection. I use this darker shade, which as you might be able to tell in the pan, it has almost a gray cast to it, which you don't often see with bronzers. And this one definitely drew me in because of that for contouring. Now when you go to swatch it on the skin, it does come off a little bit warmer than it looks in the pan, but I still find compared to a lot of bronzers, this has a little bit more of a cool or gray undertone to it, which makes it so beautiful for contouring, and it's actually what I'm wearing on my face today for contouring. The last set of powders that I want to talk about are again from L'Oreal's True Match Super Blendable line, but these are the powders. They're meant to be setting powders or finishing powders, but I find that they work so beautifully for all over bronzers and for contour powders. Because they are made as a finishing powder, they are extra soft, really finely milled, and blend amazingly on the skin. Now I have two shades that I tend to alternate between for contouring depending on whether or not I am tan. This one here is in the shade Nut Brown, uh, which is C7, and this one is in the shade Coco C8. They are both cooler toned powders, and you may be wondering why I didn't go with neutral ones. Um, I actually find in these powders that the cooler tone ones look more natural on my skin as contours and tend to work better for a lot of people as contours just because they don't have any hint of orange or too warm of an undertone to them. And just to give you an idea of how these compare side by side, keep in mind that these are really heavy swatches of both of those powders and they do tend to blend down so much more than this on the skin. So this one out here is Nut Brown, and then right next to it is Coco. With this True Match line, they have a great variety of colors to pick from. So you can find whatever your base powder would be and just go a couple shades deeper to find your contour. So that is going to wrap up today's video on best drugstore products for contouring. I hope that you found this helpful. I hope that there were some new ideas in here. I would definitely love to hear if you have any other products that you like to use for contouring especially ones that maybe aren't the obvious choice. I think it's always fun to discover new makeup for different uses. As always, you can leave your comments in the section below and any recommendations or suggestions you have for future videos, I would love to hear. I hope you all are having a really good day and I will be talking to all of you very soon.